In part b, we're first asked to show that the equation has a root between 0 and 0 0.2. So if we take our x values of 0 and 0 0.2 and substitute them into our f of x, which is 9x cubed minus 9x plus 1, we find that uh, substituting 0 in, we get 1. And substituting in minus uh, 0 0.2, we get minus 0 0.2. 728. Change in sign therefore implies a root. We're then given a recurrence relation of xn plus 1 is equal to x cubed n plus 1 over 9 using x naught as 0 0.1. Calculate up to x cubed to five decimal places. So, first of all, with x0 equaling 0.1. That would give a value of x1 equaling 1.1121111. Substituting in my x1 value into the equation, we get an x2 value of 0 0.11252022. Substituting the x2 value into our recurrence relation, 0 0.1125. 2022 we get our x3 value which is equal to 0 0.1125357 uh, we're asked to find that to five decimal places so x3 will equal 0 0.11254 we also have to prove that this is the value of alpha correct to five decimal places so we then take the upper and lower bound of those numbers in this case, the upper bound would be 0 0.112545, lower would be 0 0.112535. We then substitute those values in as x values into our original function, f of x, which was uh, the 9x cubed minus 9x plus 1. Putting in the upper bound, we get minus 0 0.00008. Substituting in our lower bound, we get f of x equal to 0 0.000011. Here we have change in sign, which therefore implies that x cubed is in fact equal to alpha, which is 0 0.11254.